Hello, lovely people. As we open sacred space, we call out to the Holy One who's always here, but it doesn't do any harm for us to give our attention to that. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. We pause to widen the circle a little bit to remember the ancestors, our own ancestors the people who would love to be here but can't, the lovely people on YouTube, the people that are in our heart who are now ancestors that are here with us. We pause to think about the miracle of this life that we have been given. I'm really happy you're here. For each child is born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who, who we are. For each child is born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who, who we are. We are our grandmother's prayers. We are our grandfather's dreamings. We we are the breath of the ancestors, we are the Spirit of God. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. We are our grandmother's prayers. We are our grandfather's dreamings. We are the breath of the ancestors. We are the spirit of God. I chose the song today and then I got an email from my mum who, she, every now and then my mum likes to correct me. And sometimes it's because I'm telling family history not quite right. <laughs> But today it was to correct me because I don't seem to understand the difference between descendants and ancestors. And I said, Mum, that's deliberately because I'm messing with it. <laughs> I'm deliberately messing with it because we are that point of the needle, that transition, that threshold between the yet to be born and the dead, a very, very precious moment in time which within us our many lives and so much love and are we gonna are we gonna fuck it up <laughs> right yeah so that's what I mean when I say be a good ancestor now because I don't think it's possible for us to be a good descendant now we are we are born in our time we are made the way that we're made and we can't really vision into the future very easily and I don't think we're supposed to yeah 
so. It is what it is. It is what it is, Audrey says. It is, yeah? Yeah. I think every single bird song so far, I've done one of Alexa's songs. Yeah, I want to hear that. I'm going to have to give her a big donation. <laughs> Oh, glorious Father, you bless me with your light. Oh, glorious Father, you bless me with your light. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your light. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your light. Oh, sacred Mother, Bless me with your strength. Oh, sacred mother, you bless me with your strength. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your strength. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your strength. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. Oh, glorious Father, you bless me with your light. Oh, glorious Father, Bless me with your light. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your light. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your light. Oh, sacred mother, you bless me with your strength. Oh, sacred mother, you bless me with your strength. Center of my soul, you bless me with your strength. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your strength. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. Oh, holy child, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. In the center of my soul, you bless me with your love. So you've heard me introduce the song, how I saw on a postcard, saw the prayer of St. Francis on a postcard in the shop on Iona, which is the only place that sells my music. <laughs> they sell lots of things in the shop, including um, postcards of prayers. And I don't know that I'd come across the prayer of St. Francis before. And I thought, I really love that. But it's in quite religious language. I wish it wasn't. And then I thought, well, what if I took inspiration from that postcard and wrote it into a song? without the religious language. So that's why I wrote this. Didn't realize that when you translate holy words into your own life, it's like building a more way for spirit to reach you. <laughs> or for, in my case, putting a little detonator into <laughs> blow up your life. Yeah. <laughs> um, in a good way. At the time, it didn't feel so good. So I hold this song yeah, I know, that's why I'm telling you the story. And it's what's really funny is that I know that this is your favorite song. We are drawn to the things that we need. There was a prayer we used to say on Iona. Life is a gift, but sometimes it feels like falling into a combine harvester. And then you want to give it back. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. 
Grant that I can see through my human pain and still feel love. darkness let light be found I need light to find me here Lord make me a channel of your peace we all need to learn to forgive a few more hundred times. Melt our hatred and let love take root in our hearts. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. And through my own pain and need, I will learn to understand. Reach through our sorrow, let it be joy, oh let it be joy. Make me a channel of peace in my life. Let's go into a time of quiet. I say as cars thunder past. <laughs> but let's rest with the natural sounds for a wee bit.
still and know that I am God. Be still. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that Be still and know Be still and Be still be, be, smiling because I was thinking about the fact that we get to carry the peace of Sister Walter and the standing ones. We get to carry that with us into our evening, into the weeks to come. As somebody that doesn't get to travel all that much, well I choose not to travel all that much, when I'm in community with people and singing prayers, I try really hard to soak it in because it feeds me for a long time like the gentleness of the warmth on our skin it's really um, precious so that's why I was smiling Simon has anyone shared um, Mary Oliver's When I'm Among the Trees yeah but let's do it again well, you know, I play the same songs over and over, so, like, not everybody watches every episode. <laughs> like, there'll be somebody that's never watched this before that's like, oh, I didn't... No, here's that. So, I am participating in Jeanette's training to be a nature companion, outdoor companion, spiritual guide, forest bathing instructor. And it's um, blowing me away. Uh, because I've come into the realization of the idea that we are in relationship with nature. Uh -huh. And I have always gone into nature rather selfishly, like, I'm going to be healed in nature. Nature is yeah. healing me. But the thing is that nature needs me, and I need nature. And every being is something to encounter and to enhance that relationship. So I was reading a book that I can't recommend enough. It's called Healing Trees last mm. night. And I read like the first two chapters and wept mm -hmm. and wept and wept because it talks about how we feel this isolation or loneliness or we're going through something really difficult. And nature is just waiting for us mm -hmm. to support us and to be in relationship with us. But we seem to think the only way we can be satisfied is through a human relationship, which is nice, mm -hmm. <laughs> helpful. But being in relationship with nature, it's always at our disposal. It's always in relationship and it's yeah. eternal. Yeah. So there's two things I'm thinking about here. One is like, it's not a little kid's fault that they say, I can't see you, so you can't see me. It's not <laughs> their fault, right? Yeah. Like it's not your fault that you go into nature and you think it's gonna give you, like that you don't understand that you're in reciprocal relation because mm, our culture doesn't teach us that. Well, at least my culture and probably yours too. So I was in Boston a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And my friend is the rector there, so he gave the sermon. And in the sermon he gave, he, um, he, rec he acknowledged the study where with toddlers, they would put a little mark on their forehead and then they would put them in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. So before they were really good at like self-recognition, they would look in the mirror and be like, wow, you know, like, who is that? You know, and then they're like trying to run behind the mirror and like <laughs> look because they want to like get to know this really beautiful person that they see in front of them. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Like, that is amazing. That is our invitation to see ourselves in that way and to be like, oh my God, who is that? Right? 
Yeah. And that's what nature mirrors to us. Right? Yeah. Classic St. Francis. I know. I'm becoming a Franciscan, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. But just the, you know, like the way that we look at a bird and go, wow, that's so beautiful. The bird is gazing back at us going, wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's just, maybe I'm really late to the party. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's complicated. Maybe all have been doing this for a long time, but. Yeah, it's complicated. <clears throat> yeah. So I wanted to share this poem. Perfect. When I am among the trees, especially the willows, and the whole honey locust, equally the beech, the oaks, and the pines, they give off such hints of gladness, and I would almost say that they save me and daily. I am so distant from the hope of myself in which I have goodness, discernment, and never hurry through the world, but walk slowly and bow often. Around me the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light glows from their branches. And they call again. It's simple, they say. And you too have come into the world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light and to shine. Beautiful. Hey, I'm paraphrasing John O'Donoghue here, but he says in, in um, one of his amazing audiobooks, I think it's Beauty, The Invisible Embrace, he says, perhaps we are special ambassadors that the earth has created, and that unbeknownst to ourselves, that we are carrying out secret missions on behalf of the earth. I love that. Because I actually think there is no separation between us and the earth. That we really are Adam and Eve. We are living, breathing clay. Earth, Adam, earth. Eve, breathing, living. All right, we're going to go into a modern setting of one of the Psalms. This was my, uh, sometimes I joke and say that Nancy Merrill is my gateway drug into the Psalms. <laughs> So I think she was a Quaker, and she massively rewrote the language of the Psalms. And at first I found it really refreshing. Now, I don't always want that. You know, sometimes I want a little bit of raw <laughs> that the Psalms have. Um, but I also, I really love Nancy, Nancy Merrill. And this is her interpretation of Psalm 84. <laughs> The swallow has a place in the rafters. I'm going to start that again. The sparrow has a place in the rafters. The swallow raises her young in the nest she has made. They live and move easily in their places. They flit and soar around your world altered. They are home. It is not so easy for me. I long for that ease of being and pray for the grace to live in the world as at your altar. Happy are they who live in the pilgrim way. They walk through desolate landscapes and find your springs. They toil through mountains and discover your peaks. They set themselves to the tasks of love and service and no deep satisfaction. One day lived in this grace is better than a thousand spent at our own devices. When we walk our appointed path in peace, we find our home and our way. One day lived in this grace, is better than a thousand spent at our own devices. 
I don't know when she wrote that, but wow, it rings true. Uh, I've heard this song only through the oral tradition, and I've heard different lyrics from different people. I'm not even sure if I've got the author right. <laughs> if anybody's watching and knows, please write to me and tell me. <laughs> to my bones, take this fire. Fan your flames in me. To my bones, take this earth, grow your roots in me. To my bones, take this water, rain down on me. To my bones, take this air, blow wind through me. To my bones, take this spirit, teach me to walk in peace. I don't think I need this stand anymore. Let's get it out of the shop. The heart is not a holding place. My heart is not a holding place. Thy spirit is golden. My spirit is golden. And I am free to fly. Audrey, can you remind me, is it my spirit first, then thy spirit? Or is it thy spirit, then mine? I think it's thy. My spirit is golden. My spirit is Thank you. The heart is not a holding place. My heart is not a holding place. Thy spirit is golden, my spirit is golden, and I am free to fly. The heart is not a holding place, my heart is not a holding place. Thy spirit is golden. My spirit is golden, and I am free to fly. The heart is not a holding place. My heart is not a holding place. Thy spirit is golden. My spirit is golden. I am free to fly. The heart is not a holding place. My heart is not a holding place. Thy spirit is golden. My spirit is golden. And I am free to fly. My soul shall praise and magnify you, Lord. Yes, I have come. 
Yes, I will come. I hear your voice is calling out my name into my life. You shall be born. All generations praise to hold with me the sacred heart, my beating heart. My soul is placed into this fire of love Yes, it becomes God's will be done cannot hear beyond their words their thoughts enclosed so stale and old and the rich cannot receive what they don't own this emptiness the spaciousness all generations praise to hold with me the sacred heart, my beating heart. And my soul is placed into this fire of love. Yes, it becomes God's will be done. Spread out the feast, let those in hunger come, your face be shown, your love made known. And the humble hear your voice, with you they sing, Magnificat, Magnificat. All generations praise to hold with me The sacred heart My beating heart My soul was placed into this fire of love Yes, it becomes God's will be done Reach out to touch the world that is to come Magnificat 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 Magnificat, Magnificat, Magnificat. I remember the first time I publicly played this. <laughs> it was during an Abbey of the A uh, Arts event, I think it was Advent, and I'd just written the song that the Abbey of the Arts had commissioned. Um, and one of the things when I write, I don't really know the song yet because of... So I didn't really know how to play the finger picking yet, but I felt, I think, spirit absolutely pour through me. I remember before I was a minister, my brother in Japan worked out he could make a lot of money if he dressed up in the family kilt and did weddings. So he applied to the people online where you become a minister and he decided to do these weddings <laughs> yeah in Japan and people paid a lot of money for it but the thing is uh, my my brother it was interesting he didn't think about the fact that when you do something like that the Holy Spirit arrives <laughs> our um, when we were teenagers me and my brother had a conversation about how we should uh, both be ministers except for we didn't have any faith 
It was a very odd conversation. And I was like, yeah, I should be a minister. I don't have any faith. And uh, we had this conversation with, I don't know, I think he's two years older than me. Anyway, so he stood up there and he's in his kilt and the people are there and all very happy that there's a six foot Scottish guy there. And he goes to do it and then something comes through him that he feels so nauseous, he feels really faint, that he has to sit down and he couldn't really do the wedding. And he was like, he never did another wedding after that. His great business plan went out the window because the Holy Spirit arrived and he didn't know how to hold it. I had a very similar <laughs> experience. <laughs> experience the first time I played the Magnificat. I was like, I am going to faint. I'm going to faint. I can't even feel my fingers. And I got through the song and everybody in the chat went nuts. I remember I was there. You were there. I thought, I wondered if you'd been there. I was very moved by that. I felt it. You felt it, yeah. yeah. It felt really tender. It felt like a baby being born or something. Yeah. I really did wonder if I was going to make it through the whole song. <laughs> wow. Well, it was good. It still is. Mm. <laughs> God uses you as a vessel with this song. It's a channel. It is a channel. It's like beyond humbling. It's actually frightening. I was like, I really wanted to say no, but I couldn't say no to Mary's yes. I'm like... Or to Christine. <laughs> I could say no to Christine. I can't say no to God, but I can say no to Christine. <laughs> she honours the holy no. But only if I have a good reason. Christine, if you're watching, I love you. I'm talking about the abbess of Abbey of the Arts, Christine Velters Painter, who was the one that thought be, who, who asked me to do this song. <laughs> I think we've got one more, and I think it's uh, Pool of Love, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a lovely kid's song. With actions. May the pool of love we have gathered here spread its wings and fly far and near from the depths of our hearts to the farthest stars. May our love Bless everyone. You want to try that? May the pool of love we have gathered here spread its wings and fly far and near from the depths of our hearts to the farthest star. May our love bless everyone. May our love bless everyone. Only doing it twice because it hurt my hand. <laughs> I think it was the bird action. <laughs> and sneaking in, sneaking in a little bit of John Philip Newell. JPN. JPN, is that what you call it? Actually, I've heard him. They call him JP on Iona. <laughs> when I was there, he was just Philip, Philip wow. Newell. Wow. Yeah, so I'm, I think... Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's really good when people receive a holy name. Like, I mean, that shows my name. Yeah. Um, and it suits him really well. And he is such a teacher of, I don't want to go into Celtic history right now, but the lineage of the monasticism that came up from the desert elders was in the tradition of John. So the book of John is very akin to the book of John. And his St. Patrick's teacher was somebody that was somebody that knew the disciple John or something like that. So it's a good name for John Philip. Page 41, I think. Now this, if you've never seen this book before, it's morning and evening prayers. Some of them are just absolute gems. And I go back to them again and again and again. Sun behind all suns, O soul within all souls, grant me the grace of the dawn's glory, grant me the strength of the sun's rays, that I may be well in my own soul, and part of the world's healing this day that I may be well in my own soul and part of the world's healing this day. Amen. That's why we do this work. Thank you for being here.